I'm going to show you how you can use 360 CAST to schedule business objects documents to SharePoint Online. First we're going to log into 360 Suite. Okay, I'm going to go to the Schedule tab and Schedule Reports. And then on the right hand side I'm going to select Destination Lists. Okay, and I'm going to click the plus icon to create a new destination list. So scheduling reports to SharePoint Online is accomplished through destination lists. So this is where you'll specify the site that you want to send the documents to, the format of the document, so if you want PDF or Excel, as well as any prompts or parameters that you want to pass to those documents. I'm going to show you a destination list in Excel, but there are other options. You can create destination lists uh, in CSV, SQL, Webby Crystal reports, or there's even an in-app option. The most frequently used are either Excel or SQL. Click here to download a sample Excel file. Here's an example. The first column is destination, so where is it going to be sent? Uh, email, a file location. In this case, we are sending them to SharePoint, so these are the formats uh, for SharePoint. This is what's needed, so whether you have SharePoint, SharePoint 2016, or SharePoint Online, and in my example, I'm going to show you SharePoint Online. You provide the information about what format you want the document sent in, whether it's PDF, Excel, CSV, whatever format you want. And then these last two columns are examples of reports if you have either you want to burst the reports, if you've got sections, you're going to burst it by state, or maybe you have prompts on the report and you want to filter it by year or state. Uh, so there are options with that as well. So here's my example. So in the destination column, I have specified where I want those reports sent. Um, tells the domain of my SharePoint um, site, my account login, my password, and then the path. So where is that document going to be sent? Um, I have all the different formats that I want to send. And the report that I'm going to show has two prompts on it, year and state. The state is an optional prompt, so if you see on the second row there is no state value, so it's going to run for all uh, states, but then I do have some that are filtered by state. I'm going to quickly show you the document that I'm sending and what it looks like. So here's my document. This is what I'm going to schedule to the SharePoint site. Uh, and when I refresh it, you'll see there is a prompt on year. That's why my spreadsheet had a column for year. So whatever values I want to pass, I'll pass in that column. And then there's also a prompt for state. This is a optional prompt, um, and I can choose to, to provide a value or not when it's run. Uh, so if you have a report, if there are values, if you have prompts and you need to pass a value, then that's required for it to run, so you need to provide that information. So now we're ready to schedule it, so I'm going to create a destination list, so this will be my SharePoint. So I'll just give it a title, I'm going to choose the file. So I choose the file that I updated with my information and click Next. So it shows uh, the first four rows of my document and then I'll click Add click back and then click on schedule reports. So now I'm ready to schedule the report. I click on the wheel icon to create a task. So I give it a title, uh, click documents link and this will allow me to select the document that I want to schedule. I can search on the folder where the document is or partial document name. Okay, so there's my document. I'll click the checkbox and click add and then close this. So you see one one document selected. So with frequency I can schedule this on a recurring basis if I want it to be to run weekly, monthly, whatever uh, frequency. There are a couple other options as well. You can use the calendar feature that if you have any calendar set up in business objects that can be used and there's an external option. So if you use a job scheduler, uh, we have customers that will like to be able to schedule their reports to um, to be run after ETL completes. So the job schedule will alert cast when that's done and the task gets triggered after ETL completes. So that's just an example of how a scheduler might be used. I'm just going to schedule this now so we can see it run.
Okay, so destination list, I have XLS selected, and then I'm going to pick my destination list. Okay, and there's the destination list I created. Select that. Okay, and now here's the mapping. So uh, when I click on the drop down, I get a list of all the columns that were in my spreadsheet. So this would be the same thing if you're using a SQL destination list, you'd get every column that you selected in your SQL. So I'm just going to map the columns. Um, so destination is in destinations, destination type is types, and format is formats. And there's also static options as well if you want to use those, but I'm using what's in the spreadsheet. And then I have my prompts, so I select set prompts, and then I'll expand the prompts next to my Webby report. Um, so you see the static value because I have a prompt saved in the report, but I'm going to use what's in the year column in that spreadsheet. And then the value for state, I'm going to use what's in the state column. Okay, and then there's some other options, but here I'm going to uncheck instance name. So um, the default name will be 360cast R, so every document will get that same name. I don't want that. In my case, I have documents being sent to the same folder on SharePoint, so if I name them all the same, they're all going to overwrite each other. So I want it to be specific to the document. So I've got, um, I can use that. I'll include, um, I'm going to include the state, and then I can include the year as well. So it'll be specific because that's unique to each of the rows in my destination list. Okay, and I can password protect these if I want. Um, if I need an additional layer, that's an option as well. And then I click schedule. I can close this window. And I'll see the task. Here's my task run under running tasks. So once that completes, it will appear under succeeded tasks. And uh, the screen doesn't refresh on its own. If you want to refresh, um, you click the double arrows in the top right, and that will refresh the screen. So here's my task. It has succeeded. Now I can go to SharePoint Online to confirm the documents were delivered as expected. And here they are. And I'll open one of them. Using 360Cast and SharePoint as a destination gives you a quick and easy way to deliver documents to your users.